Hi, I'm Dr. Ed Cohen, owner of Anthem Pet Medical Center. We've had the pleasure of caring for the pets of Anthem and the surrounding community since 2005. Today we want to bring you along to see the full range of experiences one of our patients will have while they're with us for a dental procedure and oral health assessment. We hope this will take the mystery out of what your own pet may experience while they're here for a similar procedure. But before we get started with all that, let's just briefly address why we think it's so important for your pet to have a healthy mouth to ensure their well-being as they go through their life. 80% of our pets are estimated to have periodontal disease and just like for us people, uh, periodontal disease can lead to increased risk for health problems with the heart, kidneys, and liver. So we want our pets to avoid those problems as best as possible and keeping their mouth in good shape is one way to accomplish that. How do we determine if your pet has uh, problems with their mouth? Well, typically we figure that out on the annual physical examination. Uh, we can see if some problems are potentially brewing there. Um, the next step, if that's been the case, is we need to have your pet anesthetized so we can look very thoroughly in their mouth. Um, and the reason why they need to be anesthetized for that is two specific functions that we do. One is periodontal probe uh, depth assessment and that's with a metal instrument that we're going to show you a picture of and we don't want this instrument uh, in a dog's mouth or cat's mouth that's moving around because it can injure the tissues there. Secondly, we need to um, perform x-rays of your pet's teeth, especially looking at the roots. It's very common that a tooth could look okay on the external uh, physical exam, but on an x-ray we see a tooth root is fractured or abscessed, and in those instances those teeth most often need to be extracted to prevent pain and um, infection and health problems in your pet. Today our patient is Toby. Toby is an 11-year-old male long-haired dachshund. During his recent biannual senior physical exam, Dr. Cohen identified that Toby has a moderate amount of calculus on the majority of his teeth and some scattered gingivitis as well. Calculus is the brown mineralized material that is tightly adherent to the tooth surfaces and gingivitis is the observed redness and swelling or bleeding of the gum surfaces often caused by calculus. It is the gingivitis from calculus being present deep within the periodontal pocket that leads to increased health risks in your pet. Calculus cannot be brushed away and removing it requires proper equipment and delicate techniques while under anesthesia. Thanks Jen for the introduction of Toby. Uh, you know for many pet owners one of their biggest uh, concerns about uh, having a dental procedure done on their pet is they're worried about the anesthetic safety and will their pet be safe under anesthesia. Uh, people who own elderly pets which is a large population uh, in need of dental uh, procedures is uh, understandably extra concerned because their pet is a little older, a little more frail. And although it wouldn't be true to say anesthesia is 100% safe 100% of the time for everybody, um, we've got a tremendous track record of safety here at Anthem Pet Medical Center and part of the reason for that is we have extraordinary attention to detail on how we perform anesthesia on your pet. Uh, Every anesthetic procedure is customized specifically to the assessment of your pet's health and their specific needs. And we want to make sure they're as safe as possible um, and as comfortable as possible the whole time that they're here. So rather than just continue to talk about that, let's show you what we mean. We're going to take you on our journey here and you're going to see Toby as he goes through his day uh, having his dental procedure done here. To ensure Toby's comfort and safety while anesthetized for his procedure, he will first have a thorough physical exam prior to being anesthetized. Especially, the physical exam will concentrate on his mouth, looking at his teeth and gum tissues, and checking deep inside his mouth for any potential masses or other problems which may require special attention. Analysis of pre-anesthesia blood work performed in our in-house state-of-the-art laboratory and usually performed the same morning as the procedure allows us to identify certain health conditions which otherwise may not be apparent from the patient history or physical exam and could alter the anesthesia procedure or even cause us to cancel it altogether in some cases. An IV catheter will be placed in your pet's vein 
This will provide access to their vascular system where we can administer IV fluids and medications to help support them under anesthesia. This can be a little bit uncomfortable, but we go the extra mile at Anthem Pet Medical Center to eliminate any discomfort in this process by placing a numbing ointment and wrapping on the insertion site one hour prior to actually placing the IV catheter. This makes for a painless insertion of the IV catheter. Now that Toby's IV catheter insertion site has been completely numbed, Natalie is able to painlessly insert his IV catheter and is in the process of securing it in place with tape. At this point, you can see Natalie has fully secured the IV catheter with tape and is in the process of preparing the heparinized saline flush to place into the catheter. This will prevent any premature clotting within the catheter and will allow us to be able to use it at the time we need to place the anesthetic into his system to get the procedure going. Now it is time to anesthetize Toby. He'll be given the induction agent which will render him unconscious and fully relaxed. The endotracheal tube will then be placed into his windpipe and that will deliver a precise amount of anesthetic gas and oxygen to keep Toby anesthetized during the procedure. Because of our prior use of the pre-anesthetic agent, only a small amount of induction agent is necessary to get Toby to the point where he can be intubated. This further improves patient safety. Once he's unconscious and intubated, Natalie will place some ointment into his eyes to keep them from drying out during the procedure, and then he will be hooked up to the multi-parameter anesthesia monitor, which measures all of his vital functions. This tool greatly improves patient safety. Here you can see the dental instruments that we use for Toby's oral health assessment and dental cleaning for today. As part of his complete oral health assessment, he will also have full mouth x-rays of all of his teeth. Here you can see the layout of all those x-rays that were performed today on Toby. Unfortunately, one of Toby's main molar teeth was found in the x-ray to be diseased. This is evidenced on the far left side of the image in the grayish zone between the two roots where bone has been lost on that tooth. Here Natalie is cleaning a large amount of calculus off of these teeth with our ultrasonic scalar device. Specifically, she's working on the supragingival surface of the tooth, or that part of the tooth above the gum line. You can see there's still a tenacious deposit of calculus on this tooth. Natalie is going to remove that by working on it with a hand metal instrument called a Gracie curette. At this point, she's almost completed that task and is going to progress to subgingival curettage. Subgingival curettage is an essential function of removing calculus on a tooth surface below the gum line. This sharp instrument could easily damage gum tissues if our animal was awake and moving around during this process. You can see the tooth is now clean. Natalie is just doing the finishing up touches to get this tooth in perfect condition. Here is the tooth that our previous x-rays identified as being a bad tooth. The pointer is pointing to an area where bone is severely receded, exposing the root of the tooth. Unfortunately, this particular tooth had to be extracted. Here Natalie is performing periodontal pocket depth measurements. This is to ensure that there are not deep pockets which may be indicative of a bad tooth from advanced periodontal disease. Here Natalie is performing the polishing function of the teeth. She's being careful to make sure to flaring the cup under the gum line as well because this area also needs to be polished. Polishing the teeth restores the glass-like smooth finish to the tooth surface which slows down the return of the periodontal disease process. Here you can see what Toby's teeth look like before our cleaning process had begun. Now you can see Toby's teeth after we've completed the cleaning process and have restored his mouth to a clean and healthy state. Here is our dental chart which our technician filled out indicating what we have done on Toby's mouth today and providing future reference. Our last technique to ensure anesthetic safety for Toby is that his technician Natalie will have no other responsibility than watching him until he is safely extubated.
Toby's owner will get written discharge instructions to enable them to provide proper care for him upon going home after completion of his procedure. Toby's now ready to go home, and you can see behind him an array of dental health care products for his owner to use to help maintain his beautifully restored healthy teeth and gums, which will benefit his health going forward. Thank you so much for your attention. We hope this clears up any mysteries that you may have about what's involved with your own pet when they come into Anthem Pet Medical Center for their own dental health care, cleaning, and oral health assessment. Thank you.